Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we've got one here by Dragon Wings. It's from their Warbird series in 170 second scale diecast, of course. This is one big ass bird. Uh, to be exact, it's the big ass bird number two, and it is a P47 Thunderbolt, of course. And uh, this particular one is from the 513th Fighter Squadron from the 406th Fighter Group from the 9th Air Force. And I grabbed this off eBay, uh, off a seller for $60. And uh, the 513th Fighter Squadron was actually primarily a ground attack squadron based in um, Europe during World War II. Uh, their primary roles was harassment of German ground units and positions, and it was formed in 1943, and it would be disbanded in 1946, of course. Uh, it was briefly reactivated in the 50s, but remains inactive since 1961. This particular aircraft here was flown by Howard Park, who would be the first pilot to uh, score a combat kill with the new Havar or HVAR rockets and uh, would even sink a German warship in Brest Harbour and as you can see in the packet it does have just your normal just the name of the aircraft in the flap no details or anything it does have that uh, P-47 sitting in there snugly inside the packet but, uh, it is no good in the packet is it uh, let's get this uh, you know big ass bird out of the box and have a real good look at it so with the big ass bird out of the box, it does come with a set of instructions, of course, these are some small instructions. Uh, you don't need much with these, it does come with its normal stand as well, the normal dragon stands that do come with these uh, particular aircraft. We'll open that lid up, of course, and have a look at this Thunderbolt. Very nice. The packet's yellowed a little bit, this is an older one, of course, so you do have your landing gear options and some tanks, also the propeller needs to go on and the canopy that needs to be affixed on there as well. We'll move the packet out of the way and I'll concentrate on this aircraft first. And it is in the all metal um, sort of finish, that silver finish. So we'll check out some of these panel lines. If it'll, it'll focus on it, which it does. It's got some great panel lines. You can see some rivets and everything on there. It does have those extra details. These dragon wings are really nice ones. It's got that beautiful red on the front of it it's got the call signs the d-day markings underneath the aircraft for identification purposes of course you don't want to be shot down by friendly fire we'll have a little look inside that cockpit what do you reckon we'll see if we can see some details in there it's kind of hard to see oh it's got some gauge details and everything on there from the fields the flaps they do move, so that's pretty cool. It's got the big ass bird number two written on the side there. He just likes saying big ass bird. I wonder how many times I can say that in the video without even thinking about it. <laughs> but I reckon it does come up neat. It is another nice looking Thunderbolt. We will turn it over, of course, have a little look underneath. It does look to be set up in flight mode. It does have the covers over the areas where we will be putting our landing gear, of course. We'll concentrate and have a look at those details underneath the wing there. Geez, there's a ton of rivet markings on here. That looks fantastic. Look at those machine guns. The shell casing ejector ports. Beautiful. Now, obviously, that's the hole for the stand. There's D-Day markings there. And that is nice. That is another nice looking Thunderbolt, of course. On well, what we'll do, we will uh, kit this out some landing gear and its tanks and uh, propeller, of course. It's not a plane without a propeller. And uh, we will come right back. So here we have the big ass bird all uh, fitted up. It does set up reasonably easily. Uh, you just have to put those gear bay doors in. And then the uh, main landing gear, of course. And then that tail wheel does drop straight in. It does have some colouring inside the wheel wells and everything like that. That wheel does look a little bit wonky, so it may have to be straightened a little bit compared to the other side. And of course, you put your fuel tanks on, and that is job done. And then you put your uh, propeller on. This has a little bit of resistance, so it doesn't spin freely. It turns, but it doesn't spin really freely or anything like that. And of course, put that little canopy on. And the canopy, you can, um, you know, if you want to slide it forward, you can slide it forward and have it in the closed position, or keep it in the open position, depending on what you want to display it as. And uh, I reckon this is another pretty cool Thunderbolt. Um, it does set up relatively easy. And of course, you put the little air pit of tube sticking out the wing there. And that is job done. And that is another P47D all set up beautifully. 
and I reckon it does come up nicely. And of course, if you do, you know, want to chuck it on the stand, it's just in that little hole there, and that is job done, of course. And that is your big ass bird on the stand. Beautiful. I'll zoom in a fraction for you. And that is it. And that is another one done. That is, uh, of course, by a Dragon Wings, their Warbird series. And I think this does set up very nicely. So once again, this was the aircraft of um, Howard Park from the 513th Fighter Squadron from the 406th Fighter Group from the 9th Air Force. And this is his big ass bird number two. And I reckon it is a pretty cool looking unit by uh, Dragon Wings, of course. And I, I don't mind it at all. Um, I'll take some photos of this big ass bird, of course, and you can check them out without my sausage fingers in the way. Sausage finger tester, Thunderbolt, you know, they are reasonably large World War II fighter, the old jugs, and I reckon, I always like a P-47, I reckon they look pretty tough, and this one looks pretty cool. And uh, all right, guys, I will wind this video up. If you like it as much as I do, hey, give us a little bit of a like, and if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do that as well. I uh, do thank you once again for spending your valuable time watching another one of my videos. I hope you did enjoy it. All right, guys, thanks a ton, and uh, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. <laughs>